Hi, welcome back to another review uh, on Patrick's Tech Reviews. And uh, today we have another Seagate. You see the expansion in a two terabyte with a USB 3.0. So let me just uh, show you the packaging quickly. What do we have? This one uh, is supposed to be for Windows. However, um, I'll try to show you guys how to uh, format that thing so we can use it on a Mac because I only have a Mac. Um, backside. Okay, so let me just open it up, show you the, uh, the inside of the box. Sorry for the focus. Here we go. Uh, and then we're gonna attach it to the Mac and hopefully uh, be able to um, change it so it works on a Mac. Okay, so as you can see, we unpacked it. There wasn't really much in the box other than uh, the hard drive, which is looks like this. Pretty square, nothing much to it, and uh, this USB 3.0 Ethernet cable thing. So just as a comparison, uh, I have my iPhone 5s here. It's exactly the same length, to be honest. Let's put it on top. Okay, sorry for the focus. Put it on top, you see it's approximately double the thickness. Focus. Let me see if we can put the ISO a little bit up. Here we go. Okay, so now it should focus easier. Okay, so as you can see, a little bit wider double the thickness approximately about exactly the same height and actually I think it weighs more or less the same as I right so uh, enough of this let's attach it and format it so we can use it on the Mac now I'll show you how to do that come on focus here we go see you on the computer alright so now we attached it uh, to the iMac and as you can see uh, it's recognized it, so we just open it up. Uh, how to open it? We actually don't go here. Uh, we go here, we go to where is it? Ah, already open. So you would have to go into other and then you go into disk utility. So in disk utility, you will see the two hard drives. This is the internal one and this is the one that we want to format. So now we go to partition. You select one partition and as you can see, sorry. You can see that it's actually formatted for Windows NT file system. We don't want that. We want one partition for uh, MS OX extended. And there's one more thing to do. We go into options and you click on GUID partition table. Because we want to use it with the Mac OS uh, X version 10.4 or later. Yes. And then you apply it. So I actually want to do that. Yes, I don't have anything on it and we're just gonna go ahead and partition it. So now it's formatting it and let's see how long it will take. It shouldn't take too long because uh, the hard drive is... Do you want to use it as a time machine? No. Don't use. And uh, now we should be done. So let's close this. Check again. Disk utility go partition and it is Mac OS okay here we go so now you can use uh, the one that is actually supposed to be only for uh, Windows on a Mac fine so now we just want to see how fast is the um, secret expansion 2 terabytes and with the USB 3.0 so um, I have installed Blackmagic disk speak test so let's open it up we select the hard drive that's a 2 GB uh, sorry uh, no, we want a 5 GB test. Okay, can we not? Can we do that? No. Okay, sorry, I don't have enough space to run the big one. Uh, select the target drive. Now we go and select. This is the one. Choose, and here we go. So as you can see, it's just above 100 MB per second. 108.3 in write and read is a little bit faster, 117, 118. Here we go. Get a little bit faster than that. And one more time.
Okay, so we had 116 and 117 megabytes per second. Um, I hope that was uh, informative for you guys. Thank you very much. If you liked the video, please share it, like it, comment below, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Cheers. Bye.